Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to share with you a really interesting story of my first experience of getting my hair straightened, permanently straightened or rebonding you may call it. So people who know me personally, they must know that I really have a curly hair and I wanted to straight them or getting a permanent straightening treatment done on my hair. Now, it's not that I, I don't like curly hair. I mean, look at Kangana Nanan's hair. It's so pretty, right? But my hair is quite different. The curl is not that organized. I mean, one goes this way, then the other goes that way. It's like a hot mess. So I really wanted to have manageable and, I mean, nice looking hair. So I really wanted to do that treatment. And it was in the um, year, I think 2015. No, it was 2016. And I decided to do a permanent hair straightening treatment on my, on, uh, on my hair. And I was really not planning to share with you this story of mine because there, there are a few people who know about this and I really didn't want to share. But during my visit to India this time when I was passing by that salon, it reminded me of those bitter memories. And I thought of sharing with you guys because now I have a platform to share. And I think this video or these tips that I'm going to share with you is gonna be really helpful for people who who are planning to do that treatment, do that rebonding treatment or permanent hair standing treatment, whatever. So I decided to share my story with you. So yeah. So you know it was uh, in 2016 September and I was really excited to get a makeover before Durga Puja. You, if you know West Bengal, you must know about Durga Puja. It's a really famous festival. So I really wanted to get a makeover. And I started researching on internet. I was Googling it. I was searching on YouTube. But I did not find much information about getting that treatment. And there were a few blogs but you know someone is saying that someone is saying this and i really got confused so i decided to go to the salon and i decided to get it done um you know so i was researching about a good salon near my area i live in a suburban area near kolkata and i was googling it and i found their website like they mentioned a couple of things about permanent hair straightening and you know blah 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 and I was very curious and I found that salon to be quite decent and of course I was in a budget because at that time I was a student I was doing my masters and I did not even have a permanent job I used to teach in some coaching centers or private tutoring and I used to get my pocket money or my a, a very little amount of money you can say so I was saving that money to get it done and I was searching through internet and this salon of course I'm not going to name it because nothing is written on paper you know so I'm not going to name it this salon seemed to be pretty decent and I just uh, looked at their Facebook page and they, there were some astonishing images, pictures of people getting this treatment done. So I was quite convinced that, okay, this is pretty decent salon, so let's go there. So when I um, discovered their Facebook page, I saw that there was an offer going on and it said that rebonding or permanent hair straightening only for rupees. 2800 rupees now i was like okay it's it's pretty affordable 
and I had a budget I had a budget of 5,000 rupees and I was like if if I can get it done within 5,000 rupees then I will definitely do it if I am not able to do it or if, if it's out of my budget then I will postpone it I will like make some money some more money then maybe I will get it done later in future you know so I just it was a pretty good deal and I took their mobile number or their cell number and I contacted them over phone and the lady on the other side she was really polite and I mean you know so she told me yes we are having an offer and it's only for 2800 rupees and I said um, okay I want to do it and she said okay come tomorrow and I I said it's only 2800 rupees I'm sure and she said ma'am uh, we cannot talk all of this situation over phone you have to come here just make an appointment and come tomorrow so as I was said I just made an appointment and, and the next day I went there and I got a call from them around 8 o'clock in the morning and they were they were like ma'am are you coming today come around this time this time I I confirmed them okay I'm coming and when I got there there was a girl waiting there and she also came to get that permanent hair straightening treatment or whatever and when I was discussing with them about the pros and the cons and everything and they just examined my hair and they just told me okay you will have to pay 4000 rupees and I questioned that your Facebook page or your web page mentioned that there is an offer and it was only for 2800 rupees now you are saying that I have to pay like 4000 rupees and the woman the lady she said well it depends on your hair length it starts from 2800 rupees and it depends on your hair length I was like you should have mentioned that but I was okay with it because it's still within my budget so I decided okay let let's do it and uh, it was getting done and I was pretty happy okay and the other girl who also came there to get the treatment done like I was doing here and after like two or three chairs uh, away she was sitting there so there were two girls who were doing my treatment and there were two girls who, who were doing her treatment and I was like okay 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 and it takes about four hours total and when I was almost done doing that treatment there was a guy he was like I I don't know I didn't have a positive vibe from that guy from the beginning anyway he came to me and he said he was just examining my hair and like oh my god your hair is so damaged it's in a very bad condition i mean you have done the treatment and i don't know what will happen to your hair i was like what why are you saying these things to me and he was like ma'am you have to do a keratin treatment I mean, he he was literally speaking in an artificial voice like ma'am you have to do a keratin treatment i was like but but you didn't tell me that before do, doing that procedure now you are telling me that i have to do a keratin treatment now what will happen if i don't do that treatment the girl the guy was like you know what your hair will start falling from from the center from the middle part it, it will start falling as your hair is so damaged you have so many split ends and blah 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 and then do not come to me then do not come to us and then do not say that we did not warn you because your hair is so damaged and I can definitely see if you do not do a keratin treatment your hair is going to fall from your root or from the middle part of your hair and stuff 
and I was really scared because this was the first time I was doing that treatment and I was told that my hair is going to fall from the middle of, of middle mid length or you know from here or something it will just fall off I was really scared and I asked the guy okay if I do that treatment how much do I have to pay you and he said uh, it cost 2500 rupees I was so shocked because I had a budget of 5000 rupees and I was already spending 4000 rupees and I had only 1000 rupees in my hand so I was like but if I don't do it then just don't come to me and I was so scared and I was like okay I will manage somehow let's do the procedure and he said okay come to us after three days we will do the procedure I was like okay let's let's do it and then one guy entered the room he was probably the boss of that salon or the manager whatever the guy who offered me that keratin treatment and the boss they were talking outside of the salon and suddenly the boss he came and was like oh my god ma'am what you have done to your hair your hair is so damaged and dull and every bad thing you know so i was like yeah i was already told that and i'm going to do a keratin treatment the next day and he said yeah yeah you should do it you should do it okay 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 uh and i was all done and at that time i saw that the guy he was talking to the other girl who was also doing that rebonding you know and then he came to me again and the boss said okay have you told madam the package or anything and i was like what what about the package i was told that i have to pay like uh, 2500 rupees uh, for the keratin treatment and 4000 rupees for that whole rebonding treatment now what what is the package all about and then the second part starts i mean the boss was like you have to use some shampoo you have to use some conditioner you have to use some particular serum i was like okay i i quite knew that thing that you if you do some when you have to use some particular shampoo or particular products i quite knew that i was like okay um and you have to buy it from us i was like but why and he said you know what these products are specially meant for this state in here i'm okay and we we personally order it from singapore so you cannot find these products anywhere here in India because we order it from there and they just got delivered. I'm like, okay, now how much I have to pay you? And he said, you have to pay like total, in total 8,000 and 500 rupees for that. I was like, what? And what will happen if I do not use these products? And he again started scaring me. He just said that if you do not use this product, your rebonding will all be gone. Like the whole procedure will be reversed. I mean, you are getting a straight hair if you do not use these shampoos or these conditioners or these serums or whatever, your, your hair will be curly again. And I had no idea. I was so scared. Okay, I'm spending this much of money for getting it done. And if I do not use these products, my hair will all be curly again, which doesn't happen. I will come to that story later or come to that part later. Shampoo, conditioner or serum or hair marks, they just do not matter. I will come to that part as well. But at that time, I was like, I was not sure I didn't know anything I was so immature I was just 
okay, let it let get it done kind of a thing. And I was really scared. I'm like, okay, now I have to manage like 3,500 rupees, which was like a lot of money for me at that moment because of course I didn't have a job. I was a mere student and I did not want to ask for money from my parents or anyone, you know, if I'm off focus, yeah. So I was not that type of girl even Today, I'm not that type of a girl who just ask money from their parents to get a, like unnecessary thing. You know, it's for me. So I, I did not want to bother my parents as well. And I said, okay. So somehow I have to manage it. And I said, now you have to add funds some um, money. I said, okay, I have 5,000 with me right now. You will just give me the products or when I will be back, I will pay you. They said, okay, just you have 5,000 rupees with you, no, just give us. So I gave them, they, they give, gave me a, a receipt and I just got back home. And the worst part is, I was so excited for doing that treatment, but I wasn't happy. Before starting the procedure, I was really excited. Okay, I will have a makeover and stuff. But after doing it, I was not happy. I was supposed to be happy because I had a makeover. I had everything what I what I had planned for. But I was not happy. Because like they should have told me everything. Like you have to do this, then a keratin treatment, then these products. They kept me in a complete dark kind of a situation and they were telling me after doing those procedures, they should have told me before and I was also dumb and how, how come I supposed to know that this, this, these things are needed, you know what I mean? I did not know anything and they did not care to tell me before doing the procedure. Okay, so now I have to manage to get like 3500 rupees. And I was really worried because I have to like manage in three days. Okay, and I can clearly remember I was a private tutor to a little girl and it was 27th of that month and I was supposed to get my first salary on first or second the next month and I went there and I just asked them to pay me in advance it was so embarrassing because I I don't know I have never done so before so I asked, like, look, I have a situation going on. I need some money. Can I get the salary in advance? But they were kind enough. They were, they were like, okay, if you want that, um, okay, well, I will talk to her father and I will let you know tomorrow. And the next day when I went there to their house, they just paid me my salary check, which was not 3,500 rupees, which was around... 1500 or something and I still have to manage at that situation and I was thinking so hard what should I do and stuff like so and at that moment I went to my mother and I asked Ma can you give me some money I will pay you back whenever I will get my next salary check or anything from the coaching center and stuff my mother was like okay so and I really did not want to ask money from my parents but but I had to it was like against my morality you know but I did anyway I did manage to get the money but wait the story doesn't end here there is more to come and I went there after three days and no 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 I forget um, 
the day when I came back uh, after getting that treatment done I saw my receipt and I can clearly remember that I paid 5,000 rupees but I was so upset I was so dumb I mean I was so dumb I I it, it I'm just filled with anger right now that how can I do that I, how can anybody do that I did not even check the receipt and when I came back home I saw the receipt and there was clearly uh, a number of 4,000 rupees I mean they wrote that I paid 4,000 rupees instead of 5,000 rupees yeah it was like ah this hair ah uh, uh. and I instantly called the boss you know he gave me his personal card or number whenever you want to I was okay I called that person and I told him that Dada uh, I paid actually 5000 rupees and you wrote 4000 rupees here in my receipt and he said is it so i said yes i did not check because i was in a hurry and now i'm just calling him just, just i just got back home and when i saw the receipt it it says it's like 4000 rupees and he was like oh you are that girl who came today right you are uh you are coming in three days for your keratin treatment right i was like yes how can you forget that because today only two girls came for doing that treatment and i was one of them and he said yeah 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 i can remember okay 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 it will be done just come back next it will be all all done and okay that's that's quite all right so i went there after three days and there was the other girl who who also was there with me the other day and we were sitting just side by side there was a chair where i was sitting and there was another chair where she was sitting and there was a table just between those two chairs and there were some products so i presumed that she was also going to uh, do that keratin treatment on her hair or something like that and the guy who offered me that keratin treatment he just came and he just instructed the other employees other girls like do this on her hair do that on her hair blah 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 and also I started researching on internet what is a keratin treatment because I had no clue about this treatment I I know there is a treatment called keratin treatment but I did not know what the actual procedure is so I searched all over through internet you know so okay, I was there and first they took me to the shower or basin and they just washed my hair with plain shampoo they towel dried my hair and i saw you know that l'oreal tub that comes in a sky blue packaging the spa spa mask or spa cream the hair, that hair mask they just took out some hair mask from that tub and they mixed some hair serum and they those ampules if you're from india you must know those ampules l'oreal uh, that comes with the, that tub and it's for around 100 rupees or something so they mixed one ampule with that spa cream and they just applied it on my hair left it for about uh, 20 minutes i would say 20 to 25 minutes and there was no steaming or anything because I know that a hair spa or anything needs steaming but there was nothing they just applied that concoction that spa cream serum and that ampule that mixture and I was waiting for 25 minutes and they just washed it off applied a conditioner and a serum blow dried it and blah 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 you are done I was like
said no a creatine treatment is something else because i searched it on the internet it's it says something else but they are they were doing something else now i know about spa okay and I, I i knew about spa at that moment i was like this is pretty much this is pretty much normal hair spa but they said it's a keratin treatment but it's not a keratin treatment i knew that and uh, that normal hair spa costs around 700 to maximum 1500 rupees if you are from india you must know what i'm talking about but i was like i'm paying 2500 rupees for this and i was really shocked but i didn't say anything because of course i didn't have any idea and who is going to argue with them like they will say no we have mixed something that has a lot 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 of keratins in it who will argue so i was like sitting you know let's forget about it and also i noticed the other girl she was doing the same thing like the other girl other parlor lady or salon lady she was scooping out those things those ampule things and those serum and she was also applying the same thing on the other girl and i i was pretty much sure that that the the hair spot the keratin treatment they were calling it i was getting it done and the other girl was getting it done as well i was quite upset i would say and i was quite angry but i i just didn't say anything and when it was the billing time i mean when i was supposed to pay the uh, bill sorry yeah um and there was the other guy the boss wasn't there the other guy who was there and he was like okay ma'am you have to pay like 4500 rupees i i took out the receipt and i said look uh, there was a mistake i actually paid 500 five sorry 5000 rupees and dada i mean your boss he just made a mistake and he just wrote 4000 rupees it was a mistake i called him and i figured thing out and look at his expression okay let me call call him i was like dude i'm not a thief okay you can call and he just took his cell phone and he just went out of the room and after talking for for like two to three minutes he came back again he was like i can clearly saw that expression i was like man i'm not coming back here anytime you know so i felt as if i was a thief or i was lying though i wasn't and when he was doing those calculation and things their boss he entered and he was again asking his boss like dada is he saying sorry is she saying the truth and his boss was yeah 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 we we just talked it over the phone and it's, it's all set i was kind of relieved and they gave me uh, a Vela shampoo from the brand Vela. It was it comes in a bright orange tube-like packaging, like a deodorant. It was for like three hundred ml or something, and then a small uh, jar of conditioner. It was again from Vela that comes in a bright or uh, orange packaging, and uh, a serum which was really good from Vela and they told me that uh, you have to pay like this much of money I was 
like these are pretty expensive man and they didn't even give me any discount I mean, normally if you buy it from any store or from online you can get like 10% 15% discount but they didn't give me any discount they just took the money whatever whatever was written on the bottle or on the packaging and I paid them I mean I had to right now when I, I was coming out of the salon that girl the other girl she was also coming out with me and we were climbing down the stairs generally i do not ask people about these things but i was so desperate i was like wow you look so good so uh your hair is so shiny and stuff like so and he said so as yours and i just asked her uh how much they charged you for doing this hair spa hair treatment she said 700 i was like what so was this a keratin treatment and she said no the guy the other day he actually tried to convince me to do a keratin treatment because he said my hair is so damaged and dull and everything but I know that my hair is not that damaged because I have never done anything with my hair. My hair is so virgin and stuff. And I told him that I want to do a normal hair spa. And I did a normal hair spa. He charged like 700 rupees from, from me. And I was shattered. I did the same thing. I mean, not me. They did the same thing on my hair. And I had to pay... 2500 rupees for that and that girl she paid only 700 rupees and i was really really upset and i was you know you can imagine the situation and after coming back i started looking at the products that they gave me and there was a sticker there was a printed sticker and uh, it was written that this product is for chemically straightened hair I was like okay and when I just took out the sticker it was blank I mean I did understand that the, fi the the sticker was attached to that particular product for a purpose i mean the company doesn't claim that but the sticker claims and when i looked at the conditioner i found a similar sticker and i just took it off and it says it's it's a normal like for dry and damaged hair kind of a thing there is nowhere written that it, it 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 is for like chemically straightened hair. So the sticker was attached on purpose. And I started googling the product. And I found that on Amazon I I I, I do not really remember the price of the shampoo and conditioner, but I can clearly remember the price of the serum. It was for nine hundred nine hundred and five fifty rupees. It was for 950 rupees which was pretty expensive and I started googling the products and I noticed that I could get those products from anywhere from anywhere from Amazon from Flipkart they were easily available but I was told that I cannot get these products in India because they specially ordered those products from Singapore and I was really really shocked because i paid the full price and i started uh, reading the reviews the reviews were not that stunning or anything like that though the serum was really good but the conditioner and the shampoo they were just good for nothing at least for me they did not work for me and when I started applying those shampoo and those, those conditioners, my hair felt so dry. So I stopped 
using those conditioner and shampoo whatever and I switched to my regular Tresemme products and my hair was fine and then I asked one of my friends who also like has chemical straightened hair she said it's fine if you do not want to use those products you can use any product that works for damaged and dry hair like I even do not use some particular products and my hair is perfect and it was like okay now I can get it now let me tell you one thing if you want to use some particular product for your chemical state in here you definitely can you definitely can I'm not saying you that no do not use it no I'm not saying that you definitely can use those things but the thing that you have to keep in mind that any shampoo that promises to repair your dry and damaged hair would do fine for you any conditioner that promises it's meant for dry and damaged skin it's it's it should be good because shampoo conditioner they did not or sorry they do not reverse the process you know what they do because after doing a chemical treatment your hair is already damaged so you should use a mild and damage repairing shampoo and products whatever to stop your hair from getting more damaged you know so it it doesn't reverse anything and I was literally told that if you do not use this shampoo, this shampoo and this conditioner your hair will be curly again which was really really wrong because no shampoo and conditioner do not do that now I can realize it and yeah that is that and the next time after like one year I went to a different salon and, and that time I had a job and I decided to go to a salon which is even better like four star or five star salon and it was like three star or something I went there and I told them that look I want this treatment and they said okay and they did it they charged again for 4000 rupees just for touch up because my hair was curly till here and this part of my hair was still fine so they charged 4000 rupees i was like okay and they asked me if i use any particular product for uh straightening and something i honestly told them whatever i was using and they say okay it should be fine you do not have to buy anything for like this 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 no you do not have to spend that much of money it should be okay i mean look at the situation i was told something at the beginning and i was told another thing after one year by a different person from a different salon and truly i decided that i will never ever go back to the salon again and even today when people ask me about stuffs, I don't say that, no, 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 don't go there. Of course, I, I told it to some person, but now I just do not say that. I just, just share my story and I just tell them like, no, this is that. If you want to go there, definitely you can. I'm, I'm nobody to, to stop you from going there, you know. But I really felt cheated. I mean, I feel like that they should have clearly told me about everything and they should have give, given me an option for choosing my products or for, and especially the hair spa part, it was the worst. Because I paid, man, I paid 2,500 rupees for a normal hair spa. It was a pretty normal hair spa and you can do it at home as well, you know, even now, from that experience, truly I do not go to a salon or parlor because it just doesn't suit me. I do not like going there. I do take care of my hair at home. I do hair spa regularly, like 
at least once a week or twice a month or something like that i use natural ingredients i use my kitchen ingredients to treat my hair and the most important part is my hair is not falling apart i mean you can see it's totally healthy and everything it's not coming up from 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 that part like falling or something like that so if you want to get this treatment done keep these things in mind first of all you have to do a spa of course you can do it at home or you can go to your parlor if you do not have a time or anything and secondly you do not have to use a particular shampoo or particular conditioner any shampoo that that says it's for damage control or it's for dry dehydrated damaged hair it should be good and talking about serum it totally depends on you because what serum does serum just helps to tame your frizzy hair serum just keeps it manageable and it somehow protects from uh, sun rays and pollution like that so if you want that you can totally invest in a good serum or if you want you can totally apply some like mix some uh, coconut oil or castor oil with some water and spray it all over on your hair and you should be good to go so yeah that's my experience about my permanent hair straightening i hope you guys find that video helpful and if you did then please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with someone who is planning to get that treatment done and if you have any question any query about this stuff please let me know in the comment section down below and i will be more than happy to answer you because i do this treatment almost every six in every six months on my hair so i have experience you know so yeah, see you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.